Hey everyone, Vinayak from the Jam Club. While some of you may have attended whiskey tastings, but did you know that it's very easy to host a whiskey tasting for your friends and family at home? And before I take you through all the basics of hosting a whiskey tasting at home, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. And since it's going to be a whiskey tasting that you're going to host for your friends, the most important aspect is to have a diverse array of whiskies and one of them should definitely be a single malt scotch. Like today, I'm having the Brookladi's Classic Laddie. Now, Brookladi is an exceptional distillery on Isla. It's also known by to a lot of people as Isla Maverick because they do some crazy exceptional stuff. While Isla is renowned for some of the peatiest whiskies, Classic Laddie from the Brookladi distillery is one of the few unpeated whiskies that come from Isla and Brookladi also makes the peatiest whiskey known to us, which is the Octomore. So let me pour myself a dram of the classic Laddie while I take you through the basics of hosting a whiskey tasting at home. One of the benefits of having a Scotch single malt like the classic Laddie as a part of your whiskey tasting lineup is that it's a great conversation starter. There are not too many whiskey bottles that are as vibrant and fun as this one. Then you should definitely have some peated Isla whiskies, which could be an Art Big VVST or a Lager Wool in 16 that would appeal to both enthusiasts as well as connoisseurs alike. The third style of whiskey that you should have are blended whiskies. Blended whiskies by far is the biggest category of Scotch whiskey. And not only that, they offer a diverse array of flavors. When it comes to blended whiskies, you can look at something like a Johnny Walker Green Label. You can look at something like a Shivers 18 that supposedly has 85 aromas. Now, isn't that a story to tell to your friends that the whiskey has 85 different aromas? Fourth style of whiskey that you should have as a part of your lineup are bourbons. You can keep something like an Elijah Craig or a Buffalo Trace. And fifth, because you're hosting the whiskey tasting in India, I would definitely recommend an Indian single malt like Indri. Whiskey tasting is a sensory experience. It involves three of your senses, sight, smell, and taste. And for that, one of the best glasswares that you can have is the Shazay Snifter. The Snifter serves three purposes. The Shazay Snifter allows you to appreciate the color of the whiskey without any distortion. And the shape of the glass directs the aromas of the whiskey directly to your nostrils so that you can appreciate it in a better way. The Shazay Centaur is designed perfectly to fit the main functionality of a snifter while maintaining an unconventional and sophisticated look. Made with a crystal glass, it does not let your hand temperature affect the drink inside. So now that you have the two most important ingredients to host the perfect whiskey tasting, you have the whiskies as well as the right glassware, you should set out the whiskies in the right order and the order should be from low ABV, which is alcohol by volume, to the highest alcohol by volume. And also keep the heavily peated and heavily sherried whiskey towards the end because you don't want the heavy flavors or the strong flavors from a peat or a sherry to influence the overall whiskey tasting experience. The next step is to label the glasses so that your guests know what they're tasting. Also, don't forget to have a bread basket or some crackers as palate cleansers so that your guests can have them in between two different sets of whiskies. Now that you've set the stage for your guests with some stellar whiskies served in best possible glassware, this is how you should guide them through the whiskey tasting. Step one, you should encourage your guests to look through the glass and notice and appreciate the color of the whiskey. Step two, give the whiskey a gentle swirl and nose it from the both nostrils. And here's why nosing is very integral to the overall whiskey appreciation experience. There are three primary colors, red, blue, and yellow, from which we construct our entire visual universe. There are five primary tastes, sweet, salty, sour, bitter, and umami. While we are equipped with between 2,000 and 5,000 taste buds, we have between 50 and 100 million olfactory receptors. The third step in whiskey appreciation is to actually have a sip of the whiskey and you should always start with the sip of the whiskey at full strength 
and then keep adding few drops of water to see how the flavor changes with every drop of water. And last but not the least step in whiskey appreciation is the finish. Finish is basically the duration for which the flavors linger on your palate and it typically could be short, medium or long. Once your guests have tasted all the whiskeys, encourage them to have a conversation around what they noticed about all these whiskeys and to add a fun element to the whiskey tasting, get them to rate the whiskeys from 1 to 10. And that's it. Hosting a whiskey tasting at home can be a fun and educational way to discover the world of whiskeys. And here's a quick recap on how to host a whiskey tasting at your home. Choose the right whiskeys, get the right glassware such as this Chazé Snifter, put out the whiskeys in a logical order, take time to taste and appreciate the whiskeys, encourage conversation and rating of the whiskeys. And if you found this video interesting, please do like and subscribe our channel. Until then, cheers.